Balancing and wholeness family. All right, so here goes nothing. This is my uh, Sunday. It's not morning because I'm not in morning. Let me make sure I'm sharing my screen here. Share screen. All right, so Sundays. Share screen. Too. Good. All right. So Sundays, I'm beginning to enjoy enjoy Sundays. Sundays is my complete, uh, you know, seclusion day. No one really bothers me. There's only a few people. I do keep my phone on, but uh, I do communicate with with certain people. But you know, I don't conduct business, you know, like my old life. So, you know, I'm in uh, Sundays is kind of designated to me, you know, reviewing everything I've done the week, and then uh, planning, uh, you know, my my upcoming weeks and upcoming months. So uh, I'm gonna just title this Sunday Rising Gratitude Rant. Now gratitude, because I'm not in mourning. So it's, you know, it's like good morning. I, I really am starting to dislike this so greatly. You know, when I, you know, in my roofing company, when I'm, everyone say, you know, says good morning and stuff. So I, I start saying grand rising. I don't think they're, uh, I don't care if they think I'm, I'm weird or anything because they've never heard that before. Let's just say, but anyway, Sunday rising gratitude rant, dream big, right? Manifest your future rather than predict it. And even the word predict, it actually, it could have a meaning of, you know, predictating. So, you know, you could, you could use that predictating. So you're dictating or you're commanding, you're, you're, you're making a declaration of this is where your future is going. So anyway, that's that. Let me start by saying that. So, you know, first thing I wrote down because I have a notepad when I, you know, prepare for uh, the Sunday evening meetings, and the first thing I wrote down is, is you know, we could feel it. October is pretty much it, it has a flavor or an accent of survival mode, right? Let me check my mic. Oh, that's good. So survival mode, right? So I just typed in, you know, I just start typing in stuff, you know, and uh, just seeing what pops up over here. So it's kind of like a reflection and you're pinging, you know, you're pinging back and forth with the universe. And, you know, because if I, if I get this a thought, um, there's a reason for it. It's either astrological or, you know, uh, seasonal, which it is, you know, we're already here. If you can see here, it's 10, 10, 2021. So we're, we're 10 days into October. I mean, we, Everyone knows, especially if you guys live up in the Northeast, that that things pick up so, so rapidly now. Everyone is basically in survival mode. Survival mode, not, you know, like there's any existential threat or anything, but survival mode, meaning that you're going into uh, the winter and you have to batten down the hatches, you know. So I'm going to get into a bunch of stuff here. And, uh, it, you know, this is just what's on my mind. You know, this is just what's on my mind. And and this is the way I think if you want to pick my brain, uh, you know, for where I am, where I was and where I'm going, basically my journey from hell to seventh heaven. So now uh, Sunday Rising Gratitude Rant, dream big, manifest your future rather than predict it. Now, I went into October uh, is survival mode. Uh, meaning, you know, you want to make sure you have enough money to survive the winter, have enough food. So everybody's really working hard. It's a beautiful energy. I love this energy so much. Time flies so fast before you know it. It's Christmas and then it's New Year, then it's snowing. And then you're, you know, uh, you pretty much eight hours of daylight, eight hours of daylight, you know, up here in New York. And uh, this year, I'm not sure that I'm going to be able to, you know, go anywhere on vacation, but I have for, you know, numerous winters. I've even spent six months. That first year COVID hit, I was in Colombia for six months. It was, uh, you know, I didn't plan on staying that long, but I was planning on staying, you know, three and a half months to four months. But uh, my, my ignorance to current events caused that uh, issue because I pretty much don't watch the news. I don't go on the news at all. Like definitely not news, but so I depend on kind of certain channels, certain YouTube channels to kind of say, hey, look, you got to pay attention to this. This is going on. This is... So right now, I, I do not watch the news. I'm not even watching any current events. I don't even go on Telegram. If I did want news, I would go on Telegram. But even even Telegram is be, becoming, it's becoming full of, uh, full of chills. 
it's what the, they're they're trying to. I mean, I mean, you think of somebody who's posting freaking fifty, uh, you know, fifty posts a day on on Telegram, but they're great and they're interesting. You wind up spending the whole day and not doing any work. So so anyway. When I type this in, see, because I'm going to get into the collective consciousness, see what the collective consciousness is. See, the collective consciousness is, here. Yeah, let's read it. The term collective consciousness re refers to the condition of the subject within the whole of society. So basically, you're a part of the whole and the whole is a part of you. So as above, so below, as within, so without. So that being said, um, you know, even I've mentioned numerous times about, you know, the Wright brothers claiming to have, uh, you know, invented the uh, airplane, right, where where we know, I mean, I don't want to go off track here, but I can, you know, and I'll just come back to that. I have a lot of tabs open here. So here, um, numerous, numerous, uh, numerous individuals individuals invented invented the airplane right you see it pops up right brothers over here who was the main person how many people if i mean i'm not even going to get into it but who was the first person to fly 19 of the airplane went public the Wright brothers, Wright brothers, Wright brothers. Yeah, there were people in Japan building it. There were people, you know, probably down south building it. You know, uh, how many in invented the airplane? How many? Claim to, just curious, quick and then claims to the first powered flight. Several aviators have been claimed as the first to fly a powered of course, because it can't be unpowered. Airplane, much controversy. I want to see this. Wikipedia, let's see what they're saying. Uh, airplane, much controversy has surrounded these claims. It is most widely held today. The Wright brothers were the first to fly successfully. They methodically studied every aspect of flight and achieved masterful control of their aircraft. Brazil regards Alberto Santos Dumont as the Santos Dumont, really. So he was, he was elite but, you know, uh, hybridized with the Brazilian people because he was a Santos Dumont, you know, it's the conquistadors, you know, they, uh, as the first successful aviator because the right flyer took off from a rail and an editorial in Jane's All the World's Aircrafts, hmm, Jane's All the World's Aircrafts is an aviation annual publication founded by John Frederick Thomas Jane in 1909, long issued by Samson. It has been published. What the hell? Tell me about it. 2013 edition supported the claim of Gustave Whitehead. Where was this guy from? Gustave Albin Whitehead was the aviator pioneer who emigrated from Germany. He looks German to the United States where he does designated and built gliders, flying machines, and engines between 1897 and 1915. Controversy surrounds published accounts and Whitehead's own claims that he flew a powered, that he flew a powered, a powered machine successfully several times in 1901 and 1902, predating the flight. See, so this was, this was the energies from the astrology. You know, in other words, when the energies change, like say, for example, right now we're, we're Saturn in, um, what well, we're, we're Pluto, I believe in Capricorn, when Pluto shifts into Aquarius, this is where we're going to have all these, uh, those, you know, these new age cities where, you know, electronics is going to be completely like everywhere, everywhere. Like that's what the whole thing about these uh, smart cities are about. It's all in the astrology. It's all in the astrology. I'm not going to go into it, but when Capricorn is in a certain energy, or should you say Saturn is in Capricorn and uh, it goes into Aquarius, things change. When it goes into Pisces in, in a couple of years, it's going to change. When it goes into Aries, it's going to lose power. It, you know, it's going to be power to the people. So um, even in Pisces, even when it gets in Pisces, because uh, Saturn rules in um in Capricorn and Aquarius, but it's a different energy when it's in Capricorn. It's a different energy when it's in Aquarius. All right, because uh, my astrology videos weren't getting many views, and I really put a lot into it. So if you guys are not interested, I could understand where you know where your where your uh, your level of consciousness is. I got five views on a dynamite dynamite 
uh, video that I did about the uh, the prediction of the 12 months that you know the the, the next uh, 12 months, and uh, you know I, I know it's going to be true even if it's if there's a lag because sometimes the astrology is not a hundred percent accurate. Uh, because we don't control the software. So that's why we have to get to a point where we have to confirm our, uh, you know, our place in this, you know, in, the, in this reality and the movements of the celestial bodies um, uh, personally, you know, in other words, with witness, eyewitness accounts, not what they tell us, because then you're going to be trapped in the box. That means you're getting all your information from here. So it's all theoretical and you don't get out and do practical. So, that's it. Of course, this is great because this is our grand, this is our big archive. You know, this is our archive here, you know, with the computer and all the data. And, 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 and by the way, even the computer, the computer came out because the, you know, the procession of the equinox, it was the dawning of the age of Aquarius, which Aquarius is ruled by uh, or it's some symbolic with air. It's an air sign, basically. So air, so air, air waves, technology, computers, all that goes um, full circle. All that goes full circle. And right, brothers, air, we're going into the age of Aquarius. Then we start flying. That, that definitely, directly, this is a direct, um, uh, not response. It's a direct effect of, there's another word I'm looking for, um, it's, called, it's cause and effect. It's basically caused by the astrology. The effect would be, or the outcome, the outcome would be a uh, powered flight, you know, powered flight. So that's that. So back to the collective consciousness here, right? So, and, you know, we got the collective consciousness here. So right now I'm pretty much, I'm even going to change this. It's, it's, it's basically, I do this daily, rising grant, right? Channeling the collective consciousness, all right? And I, I want to make sure because I always misspell this word, this word here. Uh, one moment. See, I always mis misspell this word. I typed it in like this, showing results for channeling collective consciousness. I'm just going to change it right here. Sunday rising gratitude rant, you know, because I'm not in mourning and uh, channeling the collective uh, consciousness. Comma, dream big, manifest your future rather than predict it, but predict it is actually not a bad word. So it's predict or pre, pre uh, you know, uh, declare, you know, predict, declare, make it clear to the universe, like the Declaration of Independence. Declare it. Good. Now, uh, so back to this. Look what happened when I when I type this in. See, because they they uh, the uh, AI right. It scours the internet for unique unique keywords from the conscious community. Trust me, this is this is true. And they 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 take this word and then they make they they make so, so this way. When I search for this, nothing spiritual is going to come up. Only video games. Look. Survival mode will be officially available starting October 1st, 2020 on Xbox One and PC. Act Act Activision announced the new part of the season six blog post, which states that Xbox One players will need to download an additional compatibility pack to play survival upon its release on October 1st. So this is what happens when, when the collective consciousness coins a term, many, many, many things. They take they they've used all of the the ancient words and they've made like a lot of content and and even you know structures like uh, video games out of it. I know they did it from this ancient uh, tribe or civilization called the Illyrians. The Illyrians was a, a tribe of balanced people. The word Illyrian. I, I mean, I'm not even going to go there, but it, it's uh, the Illyrian means the free land, almost like Liberland. I mean, we could even get into Lieberland and uh, Amanpour, which is a, a, a city of people that are like a breakaway society in uh, Italy. 
you know, Liberland, how you can get a Liberland passport. It's a, you know, you basically nation building. So we're, we're already past that. Like we're already nation builders kind of like on steroids now, because I mean, what we're going to do, which I'm going to get into is going to be light, you know, world changing, you know, uh, planet changing what we are, are going to do once we unite, because we know that many secure party creditors can have something called self-destruction. You know, if, if you, you have to build up to it and you have to match your health and spirituality with your, with your secure party creditor process, otherwise you self-destruct. If somebody gave you a billion dollars right now, you had a check for a billion dollars, you're done. Uh, some people could you they could have a spontaneous uh, cardiac event, you know, basically a heart attack and they could die. They can have a stroke. So it's basically, you know, we can handle it. We can handle this group. That's why I'm so glad that I don't have a lot of viewers right here. You see, oh, I don't even I'm not even logged in uh, to my uh, YouTube right now. But I, I'm so glad that I don't have many viewers because the AI is also block you know kind of blocking me agents are attacking me they don't want this out they know the, the ai knows and even the humans that are but they're allowing it because they, they, they can't stop it you know they can't stop what's going what's happening and what's coming because it's they don't even exist you know everything is a reflection of you as above so below as within so without so you are the center of the universe and you know what reincarnation doesn't exist you keep reliving the same moment this is a secret of all secrets just it takes time for you to kind of i could even say about reincarnation i could in an aspect of myself i believe i believe it but from where i am right now because we're getting close to the zero point right you know now when we go into we're going basically into into hell so uh you know into the winter invierno the word invierno in spanish invierno is winter but the same word for hell is in, in, in invierno, or is it infierno? Um, I'm not going to check. But the same word for so it's imagine saying, uh, "Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, I love the I love the hell." I mean, how crazy does that sound? But the word invierno and and hell is the same word. So so and and in Spanish, well, I love the Spanish language. The word for heaven is sky, so it's cielo, cielo. You know, so uh, so uh, you know, imagine like, oh, look at that. There's a you know, there's a bird in the in the, in the heavens. You know, the, you know, in old English, they we used to use that. You know, we used to use the word. Oh, yeah, they look. I see a bird in the heavens, in the sky, and now we call it sky, sky. I don't like that word, sky. And then win, win, ter, win, ter, ter, win, ter. Winter. I can't break down that word, but I, 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 it sounds almost like Saturn's wedding, you know, like uh, winter. Anyway, I can't break that word down right now. So now, like, so now, look, modern warfare, October survival mode. The reason why I'm getting into survival mode is because it's just natural that our bodies are, you know, craving certain different foods. And, uh, you know, we want to basically uh, uh, build up our fat storage, you know, so we can survive the winter just like a bear. Hey, we have to we have to um, take care of the avatar. You know, you know, we have to take care of all of our bodies, our mental, psychological bodies. So you got to do whatever you need on that front. You know that we have our our, you know, our hearts. We have to take care of our emotions. You know, you, everyone needs to be loved. Everybody needs love. Everybody needs affection. You know, you, you could dream about it, you know, if you can't have it right now, but, or if the person's wrong, but you still love them. I'm, that's the situation I'm in. You know, I, I, lo I love a woman to death. I love many women, but I love these, uh, these women to death. But the one that I, that's very special to me, she is not on this level. So it's, gonna, it's very hard for me because she just and didn't tell me. Because I told her I would never talk to you again if you got the COVID vaccine. So I, I'm not seeing her right now after I found out. But I went, I had a mystery illness after, you know, uh, we got intimate. And then uh, so I found out two months later, I didn't see her again because we we kind of, you know, we cross paths every, every once in a while until I can get established. And then, you know, I'll buy them, I'll buy them a house. Uh, it's a family. And uh, and then I have put her through a serious detox if she wants to be with me, but she will. 
you know, she will. She will be, you know, uh, one of my, uh, if she's interested, you know, one of my wives. And um, so now, so she, she got the COVID vaccine. So she's, she's she, I thought she might have been, uh, had the capability to be at this level of consciousness. But obviously the system did its job. Because when you know when you're still in all these old platforms, they program you. Plus the calcification, you know. Um, the, the, not everybody is an old soul like us. You know, not everybody is an old soul. They're they're infant souls. You know, there's YouTube videos on that. Just type in infant soul, old soul. You know, the old souls they come down to assist humanity. You know, and then they go back to their mansions up. You know, right right on the right side of you know right on the right hand side of God. You know, that's, you know, it's basically what you build here is equally matched in heaven. So, you know, if, if the quote would be, um, I said it before, but I always forget it, but let me give it a shot. Um, so, um, something like, um, you know, I build my, I build my, I build my castle on the earthly realms uh, equal to or greater than, than my than my mansion in God's house. It's that did not come out eloquent, but I said it very eloquently one day. It was kind of like a like a little poem. And somebody said, I, that is so beautiful. I, I, if I, I'll remember it, but right now I can't because, you know, it's maybe it's because it's early. I like doing this right when I wake up. So I just basically, whatever comes to mind, this is the energy that's coming from the sun. It's basically what I'm talking about, the collective consciousness. That's why I went into the right brothers. Okay, now, so being, you know, that being said about the survival mode, this is the things that you could consider, you know, but I am doing, you see, I'm doing these things, uh, you know, in the future and in the near future, and I'm going to do it large scale. I'm going to pause this because I have to change my shirt. I, I, when I start ranting like this, I get sweaty. So I'm just going to pause. I'm going to keep everything as is. I'll be right back. All right, so let me get back on track here. So basically what this is, is when the dawn comes here at six o'clock, it's eight o'clock here in the morning, but it's still dark because it's, it's a little overcast here in New York. But, you know, basically six hours ago, uh, they're going through the, the dawn in, say, Europe. Twelve hours ago, it was in, you know, Asia and in Australia was maybe, you know, uh a couple hours before that, you know, I'm not going to go into that, but we know that, you know, the sun comes from east to west. So now... Um, also, the, um, Wall Street stockbrokers, they utilize this because what they do is they see volume of trading and they, and they find out if it's going to be a good day because of geography. I'll get into that and then I'll come right back into it. So now just uh, for example, we got here, if, I, if we go to the map, right? Wow, that's slow. Okay. So if we go to the map of the world, right, where because there's such a big gap from, uh, you know, South America to Australia, it kind of, the day gets reset. I'll show you right now. So, oh, it doesn't even let me go. Okay, Australia, you see? So now if the sun is over here, it sets on the Americas. And then this is such a big space that everything, you know, it's already starting to get dark here when it starts to come, when the sun comes up. So this is, that's where, that's why it's zero is, is uh, Australia. So when it comes here, it's like a new wave, you know, of a, of a new day. So it starts here. What the stockbrokers in Wall Street do is they see all the trends and the volume of trading in Australia. And, and of course, you know, Japan and, uh, and, you know, and China and all Malaysia and all that Kuala Lumpur and stuff, they watch this like a hawk to find out if it's a day to buy or sell. They do it with analytical data. We do it with spiritual data and we use the collective consciousness. So we basically tap into that energy, just like what I told you with the Wright brothers. We tap into that energy and then we can basically what I'm feeling right now. You know the theme, the accent, the, the 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 flavor of the day 
of the week of the month is happening worldwide, but it's happening on different levels, different levels um, to different, um, say, genres or types of people based on their, you know, calcification, based on their soul uh, growth and based on, uh, you know, other circumstances. So that's it. So it starts here. So where I'm getting at is if you check your email, if you have one of those emails where, you know, that you do get a lot of bulk mail and like uh, spam and stuff. And when you check your mail one day and it's like, oh, look, there's nothing going on. I got like one or two emails, just a couple spams and stuff. But then another day you get like a hundred. Those are the, those are the days that they've already went through like a beautiful day. So the energies are strong. And those happen to be the days that they come trail us to death because they, they're trying to block our connection to God. They're trying to block our connection to the collective consciousness when the energies are low or, or for they definitely do it for a reason. They'll turn off the chemtrails and it'll be like a beautiful day because they, they, they can't have us in full time, 100% health because it we would, we would rise up and then I'll, you know, it would be so much oppression that everybody in America would rise up and then we would, our, we would have light body activation. Really. If it, if it, if it pops off or when it does pop off, even if you're calcified, you can activate that light body because the spiritual penetrates through the calcification. You could neutralize it. You could disintegrate it with with uh, meditation and spirituality. I'm, I'm, I promise you, you can. But I mean, unless you're like completely. But if you do the yoga and you start taking monatomics, you can have such a rapid advance. You could have such a rapid advance. I will train but right now we're doing the earthly work. Well, let's do the earthly work, get ourselves situated, get ourselves paid. But that is not even, you know, uh, 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 the right word because we want to zero back. I want a zero balance. You know, when I check out, when I graduate, I don't die. You know, I, I am not, I can neither uh, be destroyed or created. I, I merely and miraculously transform. So this is what tribe building is. You build your tribe, you uh, an impenetrable tribe, which is going to lead to what I'm getting into. I want to get through in here, rapid fire over here, rapid fire. So uh, I, I went through that. Now over here, we got arbor, arborist management. I, I've been, you know, I juggled around with the words. Basically, you know, if you are going to be, uh, if you are, when you are a secure party creditor, and if you really care to do God's work, you have, it, it comes with responsibility. So you have to take dominion right here, dominion over, over your, over your um, tribal lands. So God blessed them. And God said to them, be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the air and over every living thing that moves upon this earth. Genesis 1, 26 to, uh, to 28. Beautiful, beautiful. So if they're not in their higher consciousness and you are, then you are, con you are convicted, you are be not convicted, but you are uh, obligated, responsible to take care of the sheeple. You know, even if you know that they are going to die, you know, when let's say a zombie apocalypse comes. So what you're going to do is you know, what I'm doing is I'm collecting the elite. I'm building, putting in pretty much uh, not infrastructure, but tribal structure, you know, tribal structure, nation uh, uh, tribal structure. Uh, throughout, you know, my surrounding geographical region, uh, which I'm going to get into where you want to, you want to know your land management We're here. You want to know the, uh, I'm going to get into it, but you want to know what the levels are, what the sea levels are. You need to know your environment and you have to have a plan of what you're going to, what you're going to buy, where your uh, province uh, uh, borders are, you know, strategy. You have to do this through strategy. So now I'm getting back to this here. So yeah, uh, I mean, you know, you're going to be paid. So you're going to be paid. You have to either be partial owners with a tree service, you know, an arborist company. So this way we can do the dominion thing. We also want to have, you know, it even, I'm going to show you, but this is just some, you know, one aspect of it, you know, aspect of it. You, you want to have, you know, firewood just in case there's no fuel. Uh, you want to also have uh, fuel reserves. 
You want to have, the, you know, those big tanks, I mean, the size of a house that has oil and diesel and stuff. Yeah, why not? You're paid. So you're going to have those. You're going to have enough to su support you through a winter for you and your entire tribe. Whatever your needs are, you have to measure it. If it's a million gallons or, you know, 100,000 gallons, you have to have that locally on reserve. When everything, when the shit hits the fan and everybody else is, uh, you know, in, in zombie apocalypse, you're already going to have networking. You're going to have people. You're going to have levels of like a pyramid. I went over this already, the pyramid. You're going to have, uh, you know, the closest near you. You're going to have the trustees. Then you're going to have the, you know, you're going to have the sheeple that are that are on the path of, of awakening. But they're going to be, you know, you have to keep them just slightly away from you. And then they would kind of protect you against foreign hordes. You know, I mean, it, it's just Hunger Games 101. You know, if you haven't seen Hunger Games, you got to you got to watch it. You know, it's predictive programming. But honestly, they're tapped in. Hollywood's tapped in. They know what's going on. They, you think they don't have astrologers? They know everything. They know everything. So, oh man, I gotta take this shirt off. I took a shirt, but it's like uh, I'm gonna because I'm getting hot again. All right, but I'm just gonna stay like this now, shirtless, since I don't have the camera off. So now, let's see. Next, we went over the collective consciousness. I mean, that was just one thing. You know, the tree management. You want to have firewood. You want to have. Uh, you know, you want to make your own activated charcoal. That takes a little bit of time because you want to peel the bark off because the bark is, and then, you know, the bark is going to be the one that's going to have all the uh, chemtrails and the uh, mold and fungus on it. You don't want to burn that inside your, inside your house. You can burn it outside, outside of your biodome structure. Uh, I mean, or not, but no, I wouldn't burn it inside because that's going to vaporize into everything. And uh, so... Uh, I mean, if you haven't heard of this, it's a little bit off, but it is it is a part of this topic. What, what a trance channel is, for example, Dolores Cannon. I'm not going to go into it, but let me just see an image of her. Oh, what a beautiful woman this here. That's not her. Is it Dolores or is it another Dolores Cannon? Let me take the Dolores Cannon. I, I love her voice and she's out there in Arkansas, this woman right here. She's in the Ozarks because we have a member, I believe her name is... Uh, Kathy, or was it uh, Karen that we had? I always mix her up. She's up there in the Ozark. I haven't heard from her. I'm going to reach out to her. I'm going to send her an email and call her because I, I really enjoyed speaking to her. She kept calling me sir. <laughs> and uh, so this Dolores Cannon, you know, if you haven't heard of these, it's so nice. Instead of watching, you know, something bullshit, you know, uh, listen to listen to her. It's, it's a positive message, even though, she, you know, everyone believes they're getting it from somewhere else. It's all a... A scene or a script, you know, but if it's for the betterment at the level that you're at and to get you to the next level, if it has a, uh, a beneficial effect, believe it for a little while. Then I always say it, I'm saying it right now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it uh, publicly. Um, who I am today is 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 not who I'm going to be tomorrow. So in a year from now, I'm going to consider myself an ignorant so ignorant of certain truths that I will know in a year, but I definitely am the higher self to my lower self, which I was last year and 10 years ago. And when I had a drug problem or, you know, my, my, my younger years, but uh, so, so, you know, that's it. So now then there's another one here, this one. Oh my God, Daryl Anka. I mean, now I have a different window over here. For example, you got Daryl Anka Bashar. This guy, I was, I tried to find a, a video. I love this guy. You know, even though he, you know, he's an alien, he he's channeling an alien called Bashar. You know, I love his messages because they give you breadcrumbs. Everything. That, why why would you disregard a message if it if it if it motivates you? You know, if it motivates you to advance in this realm, in this movie, in this película. You know. This is all a movie. And you know what? You are the creator. That's why they have so many. When Hollywood, they give all the credits. They, they say, they, they, I don't even believe they say created by, you know, because you actually are the creator or the uh, manifester. So when we get our own Hollywood, but we're not going to call it Hollywood, you know, we're going to say manifested by, you know, whoever manifested that movie in, you know, that movie, that moving, we'll probably call, we, you got to reinvent everything. So when we make our Hollywood, I'm going to make Hollywood over here in New York. Look, I'm not using Hollywood. I'll get the best, everything, movie producers, the CGI, everything. 
We're making everything. We're going to be all completely self-sufficient, independent. We have to make our own glass. We have to recycle our own stuff. I'm doing that in Long Island. That's the only way you can do super cities. You could do super nations. You know, they're going to be super nations, super cities. You know, high rises, yes. But the high rises are going to be not, not just the phallus. It's going to be the phallus, almost like the Toronto... Uh, you know, I, I don't want to juggle around here, but like the, you know, it's going to be a phallus with a circular thing, almost like the, you know, the Toronto Tower, Toronto Tower. Let me see here. Yeah, it's going to be something like this, but it's going to have a round thing over here. So it's the male and the female in balance. Or you make it like the yin and yang. I'm going to be making crazy buildings. You know, yin and yang, the infinity symbol, you know, these are the one, not, you know, not like pentagons and stuff. If anything, I'll do a sextagon, you know, to be more in balance, you know, like a, a six-sided building rather than a five -sided. Let me see. Let me see. Is the pentagon upward or downward pointing? Pentagon. It's upward. But you, know, which way is north? We don't know. So it's upward. Yeah, what would that mean uh, if it was downward? Yeah, it would be Satan. Let me see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it was up, so it's upward. So I guess you know, America maybe it was founded with 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 uh, you know with uh, with light and and positivity. But all right, so back to that. So now Bashar. I mean, I'm not even going to play any of this. And I'm going to go one day. I'm going to go through the channels that I still subscribe to and the ones that I don't. Pretty much. When I'm having lunch, I love these people right here, Beyond the Veil, it's Christian Shiri Gio. You know, I, when I'm having my lunch, I want to you know, be stimulated, you know, by something. And, um, you know, so anyway, let's see who else. Oh, this is Southwest Mushroom. I'm going to get into this. You got to do my co mycology um, here. Let me just uh, pause for one moment. So this guy's got a great channel. He basically has a company that makes... Uh, <clears throat> mushrooms and stuff all different kind of mushrooms but what we're going to do is we want to do this of course in that fashion fine it's great but why not do it in nature you know why not do it in a nature reserve uh you know and uh you know so that's it i'm going to get into that but let me go back here so i can just follow through what i was uh you know my train of thought the collective consciousness channeling i just got into that because you know basically that's pretty much what i'm doing i'm but i'm i'm channeling the collective consciousness so i'm tapped i'm tapped in so i'm tapping into the information that many are are feeling now uh you know based on based on the astrology based on their current circumstances and uh, situation, especially with the secure party predator process, emphasized. So Daryl Anka Bashar, I mean uh, Bashar, and this is Cryon, who is Lee Carroll. I went to one of his seminars. It was amazing. I met some amazing people there. Like uh, I, I'm out of touch with with some people that I met there. It's a shame because you know it was early. It was like 2013, but. You know, this guy, you should check, you know, if you're interested in that kind of channeling, it's just a positive message rather than watch some bullshit, you know, uh, listen to somebody who's got a positive message, even though they do talk about, you know, they, they basically they're channeling it from an alien. All it is is a reflection of, of ourselves because we are ignorant. We have to make up these people and implant them into our reality to basically get us to the next step. And then when you get to the next step, you realize that, that there's only you there's nobody else i'm talking into i'm talking to myself right now so i'm basically talking into this computer talking to myself uh i'm talking in an aspect and in a form i'm talking to my lower self for somebody that can hear me that's in hell you know that's in in, in the depths of hell i would be their higher version of themselves but i i definitely know that i'm the lower self to my god self and believe it you do have one you have a aspect of you that is in heaven right now, if you believe in that with God, right on the right hand side of God and actually is almost a part. It is a part, you are, we are, there's no one else that exists but us. So basically I have a God complex that there's even a word for it. It's called like snop, uh, uh, like synopsisism or something. What is it called? I'll come back to crying. What is this? Uh, the uh complex god complex 
complex. Synopticism or something? Let me see here. What, what is a God complex called? Narcissistic, that's not real. Uh -uh. Come on, it's not narcissistic. God, a God accomplice called uh, synopsisism. Sicism. Look, they even made a TV series, God Complex. It's not synopsisism, but I'm just gonna put sism, see what happens. Yeah, what's another word for God? Messiah Complex, <laughs> delusions, <laughs> grandiosity. Somebody just mentioned it in one of the antagonists. All right, forget it, so next. I forgot what it's called, but it's called something. All right, so so we went to cry on, and then that's so I'm gonna skip. So basically, you know, heavy equipment, heavy equipment, manage and you know take dominion over the earth. You know, I'm not saying go and chop down trees, but you're gonna take down the weak trees, and then in that area, you're gonna you know you're gonna grind the stumps down, you're gonna redo that area, keep that soil because you don't want to lose all that you know micro you know biology inside there. I, you know, I, I've never, you know, I've planted just a couple things. I'm not, I don't have a green thumb, but I'm going to learn. I, I must, I must, which is getting us into, you know, you want to, you, you're going to be paid. So you're going to have, you're going to either better off just buy shares in the largest tree company near you, you know, and then buy, buy the company, you know, buy 51% of it, because then you're going to get all the 35 and 40 year experience of all the employees. And then you restructure it. It's easy. I'll, I'll provide a service. I'll I'll uh, I'll do that because I'm very good at doing that. I, I put all systems into place where there's layers and layers of not compartmentalization, but I know how to make a company uh, work efficiently. It's hard work, but it's definitely doable. So then, uh, or you open up your your own. You just go partners with somebody you like in the neighborhood, you know, and then you just you know uh, that has the capability. You don't want somebody to reinvent the wheel and learn this anew. No, you want to get somebody already established. Oh, you're a tree guy. Hey, man. Yeah. You know, I want to. Oh, I've been doing this for 35 years. Dump them. You know, it's like, you know, just, uh, you know, donate or it, it could be a for, a for profit business. You know, we, we don't want to just destroy everything. And oh, like I, I, I was I was at that level at one point. Let me make sure I'm recording. No, I, I am recording. OK, and I am sharing screen. Yeah, I'm sharing screen. I wish it was a way how to see because I can't, you know, I don't see the green line around around the screen. But let me just stop here for a second. OK, got it. So, yeah, you don't want to reinvent the wheel. All right. So next. So tree service, Dominion over there. What a, what a beautiful passage there. You know, the flora and the fauna, you know, flora and fauna, mycology. See, the mycology, we got back to the mushroom guy over here, you know? Uh, so over here, there's, oh my God, I de I'm definitely doing this next year. Next year, I, I wanted to do it this year, but I was in survival mode, you know? But now I'm not going to be in survival. This is the last year I'm going to have to do my roofing business because I'm going to have, you know, uh, pretty much I'm going to be able to complete everything and, uh, you know, uh, access some funds. So now... Now, topography, elevation, you need to know what your surroundings are and what the highest levels, uh, you know, what the elevations are in wherever you think you're going to stay. If it's going to be where you are, if not, then don't make any plans there and then start searching for some place that has, you know, I want to go to a map here and show you, you know, just my particular instance, you know, my, my particular situation. All right, so I'm on Google Maps here. What's this? No, I'm not going over here. There was another map that I like better. Come on, right here. Let's see. Okay. But yeah, I'm going to do this here. I already had it ready. Oh, this is where I did for the thing. Come on. All right. So now, for example, this is interesting here. I'm going to see these green here, these wildlife reserves here. You want to, you're going to be, you're going to be, you're going to have the a unique ability 
to buy houses pretty much double the price. And uh, if the people are not going to sell, I mean, this is just what I'm going to do. You know, I'm going to basically offer them double. You want to have your house on uh, right next to wildlife reserves because you want to have your livestock to exchange uh, DNA with a completely natural area, not only on a farm setting. I'm talking about everything, horses, cows, chickens, because even though they could get sick, you know, with like, you know, with the mosquitoes and stuff, um, you, you, uh, you want, you want, you would be able to heal that, you know, um, with methods and techniques. But I mean, this is just me because right here, this particular park right here is, is pretty much enchanted. I love this park to death. I go running in here. I get absolutely elated pine trees everywhere, river, pond, dam. I'm basically going to buy up the entire area. And then I'm also going, you know, I'm also going, I mean, you know, this is where I live. You know, this is where I, I domicile right now, you know, and this is my, by the way, this right here from here down, this entire peninsula is my province. So this is my province. And because I'm the highest, uh, highest consciousness in this area, there are other people, but they're not coming forward. I have not come across them. So therefore I'm taking dominion over, over my earth. It's lawful. It is definitely illegal. But it's it's definitely lawful because right? we don't deal in a legally. Le hey, I'm going to show you a comment. Let me show you a comment on uh, quickly. Let me pause so I can find it. Not to wait. Um. So this is one of my recent videos posted um, right here, uh, October seventh. Today is October tenth. Uh, you know, Google Workspace private group announcements, updates, and current events. So this guy here. I've been trying to connect with him. I sent him my email and stuff, but he comments and I, I always reply. So, uh, hey brother, I have some very important information to share with you, code of ordinances, uh, what it says, permit the license search application. Over here is just the part two is a new foreclosure case last month, a couple defending themselves, notice of constitutional question. They basically asked, um, you know, where's your oath of office? So then I replied, this one first here, uh, oh, yeah, that's some good salsa right there. You know, like how PJ used to say sauce. That's the sauce. That's some good salsa right there. Salsa picante right there. Yeah, because they are phone, they're a phony baloney court. Basically, they don't have an oath of office. So all the uh, right here, right here. Yeah, because the local, county, city, and state court system are the biggest fraud ever imposed on humanity. It says it right there. We are the ones that give them the power through our past ignorance. You know, I know waking up is hard to do, but waking up is turning out to be hilarious to do with these clowns. So basically, oh uh, yeah, that's some, that's some good salsa right there. Yeah, because they're a phony baloney court, which is a real word, according to Webster's Dictionary. Uh, it's, it's right in there, just exactly the way it is here, phony baloney. Not being or expressing what one appears to be or express. So basically, they are not who they say they are. Then you hit them with billing costs for attempting to deceive the natural man and woman with phony baloney documentation from a phony baloney court of legalese. Not all will be commanded to by lawful, this is, <laughs> will be commanded to by lawful, registered, recorded, certified, apostilled, authenticated, copywritten, trademark, legal, trademark, legal notice and demand to pay 100 million lawful U.S. silver dollars per occurrence, per day, per pay, per day, per violator involved, checkmate. You know, so I, I mean, there's an interesting, it was an interesting, uh, I like communicating with this guy because he hits me right when, when I have like, uh, <laughs> so I, you know, I'll always answer this until I can't anymore. And then, you know, I'm going to have uh, like, uh, what do you call it, moderators and administrators if this grows. If it doesn't grow, then everything will go to all hell. So um, back to what we were doing here. Where were we? Here? Yeah, I have. So, yeah. So now going back to this, like this right here, you want to do that because then you could take, you could take, you could go into the, you know, you could take your horse, horseback riding. You're going to have those little pygmy. I've been wanting to do this for a while. Um, pygmy, pygmy horses. Height. They have to be shorter than three foot tall to be classified as a mini. 
mini? I said, pygmy. According to the American Miniature Horse Association, yes, that is a real thing. Miniature Horse Association, they cannot exceed three to four. Let me get my tape measure. I have it right here. Three feet. Oh, yeah. You know, you're going to want your kids to know horseback riding. They want to, they, you want them to know how to horseback ride before they can even walk. They need to be, so you, and then you, you match them just like pairing, just like the movie Avatar. You get paired with that bird, you know, Avatar. Yeah, I mean, everybody's seen it, but you know, um, Avatar, cho uh, choose your, your, what was that bird? Choose the bird for a lifetime. Make the bond. Look at this. See there. Look, I said avatar. Make the bond, Jake. Make the bond. All right. You know what I'm saying. I mean, if you haven't seen that movie, look at that. Avatar. Make the bond, Jake. Yeah, baby, let's watch the scene. Make the bond. House Pro offers an easy to use 3D design tool that helps clients visualize and get excited about your plans for their project. Create chip these ads. What's going on? Uh, maybe because of the Zoom, but I mean, what the hell? <laughs> anyway, so that's where I was getting at about that. But here, let me do another thing here. Um, let me just show you the uh, the other another beautiful part of this movie. I mean, if you haven't seen this movie, this is a must watch. Um, it, there's so much hidden information in this movie. Um, Jake, Sully, I will fly. I want to hear this part. I will fly with you. This movie gets me so pumped. I will fly with you, brother. You go out as fast as the wind can carry you. With your permission, I shall say. people have sent us a message. Woo! That they can take whatever they want. And no one can stop them. But we will send them a message. You ride out as fast as the wind can carry you. Come up on the wind. I not this people You tell the other clans to come. I don't know what I have been. 
Tell them Tarek Makto calls to them. Are you fly now? With me. My brothers. Sisters. And we will show the sky people that they cannot take whatever they want. And that this. This is all I I will fly with you. Taluk Maktao. Taluk Maktao. I will I want to see the exact part where he says I will fly with you. Come on. Let me see if this is it. Oh wait, she's there too. Oh no, this is when when they try and convince them. I just want to hear that part where he says, "I will, I will fly with you." Yeah. Oh, this is when they heal Sigourney Weaver. Look, this is when they heal her and they they they, they connect her with. Uh, I think that's the that's the part. I will, I guess it's not that. Well, there's a part. I mean, you know who this is, right? This is what's her name? Um, the one that was play, played the Colombian. I always forget her name. Let me see. Here. Come on. Um, I forgot her name. Anyway, we'll get we're, we're on top. We're on top. Look at that. Oh, look at this guy. This is Norm. Joel David Moore played Norm. Oh, he played a good part. Okay. Avatar 2. I'm not even going to go into that. When is that going to come out? They're still working on it. So, you know, while they're making these movies, they, um, they, they, they tap into the collective. They're using AI to find out what, what you know. We're basically creating that. We, we are the, the commanders and manifestors of these movies. So when you when your consciousness rises, you your life starts speeding up. So you're going because you're going back to source. You're, you're ascending basically. So everything else around you has to start pretty much falling apart. Because you're you're passing into the uh, event horizon of your you know of like the, the gates of of of, uh, of hell, so you're basically going back to God, and, and everything is going to start disintegrating around you. And yes, it, that does include uh, a lot of death, but all they are the death is an aspect of yourself that does not serve you anymore. It's that's a very difficult, complex philosophy to consider. That's all I'm asking to consider. I that's where they get the Georgia Guidestones from. And I always looked at the Georgia Guidestones as negative, but it's actually. I. I hope I don't lose lose you on this one, but it must happen because we are ascending. We our bloodline starts growing in size and uh, abilities. So, so that's this is why our heads are starting to elongate because we're, we're, our pineal gland turns into a third hemisphere of our brain. That's why I'm so attracted to the elongated skulls of like say African uh, melanated women with that 
it's kind of weird looking, but I like it. I like it. And maybe it's because our evolution, right? How we evolved back into a, like a supreme state of being, our pineal gland, gland grows so big because it's happened to me already. You start getting headaches. And I know that my skull is growing because I even said this to one of my cousins at a wedding. And he's like, and did you feel any symptoms? And I was <laughs> is that like, when this happened to you, did you feel any symptoms? I was like, yes, I got headaches and my skull was growing. And, and uh, I, I know this because of my, um, I have some uh, beauty marks and the beauty marks moved. So I'm like, how did that happen? It's not because I'm growing older. So my, my, you know, your, your head elongates to like a third hemisphere. And then you, you, you start growing more and more connected to, to God. And you be basically become telepathic, almost like the movie, The Fifth Element, when that opera thing goes out, ah, you know, she had that elongated skull, you know, uh, and like uh, locks, you know, in her hair with, uh, what's his name? Um, all right, that's it. All right, so let me get closer to, and then, so then, so we, you wanna know where you are. Let me go back to that map because I uh, there's a method to this madness. So I was talking about that dominion over the earth. We've got the flora and the fauna, the birds. You wanna take the inventory. You wanna know what kind of birds are in your forest. You're gonna have full-time, full-time people doing this. People that are passionate about birds, people that are passionate about insects, introducing stuff, you know, introducing stuff into these natural, these tribal uh, reserves, you know, um, maybe lack of a better term, you know, they're your tribal, your tribal land, you want to basically take dominion over them. So flora and fauna, this, that, I was looking for maps, it, took, it was so hard to find topographical maps, but I, they used to be writing Google Maps. So I'm not even going to go, they're too complicated. So basically, well, one which one was the good one was this the one no no it's over here somewhere but what i wanted to go over is i'm not even touching these because they'll slow up the whole process come on where was that map that i had i had a good map that i was showing you about the i could have sworn i had a better map over here okay i guess not so okay right here Okay, so I was telling you about this now. So th since this is my province here, right? I'm gonna do like I, I, I don't, you know, because I get this this divine inspiration all, you know, all the time. I'm basically, you know, it's gonna be like a super city here. But there's a lot of drugs and there's a lot of mixture, so you know, it takes time. But how I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna do this. Is Stop building stone walls, stone estate walls to map out you know, my estate. Even the people are there, they will not be able to stop you. You're gonna make entrance gates, watch, right here. Stone wall with iron gate. Like, look, Trump over here. Let me, let me see, like this, you know what I mean? But nice, nice, uh, you know, something that's gonna last or, you know, uh, you know, it could last like like New York City, the highways where they made they made them all with stone. The bridges in New York City are amazing feats of of and throughout America. But they were built the turn of the century and they're still up. Not a movement, no nothing. That's because New York City is rock solid. It's rock solid. So, you know, you can't build for a long term if, if you're building on, on soil. That's why you need to know. You're going to have geographers. You're going to have, you're going to scan all your lands, know where there's stone, know where there's quarries, because you're going to be, you want to be near water, but, but you have to anticipate sea rise. So back to the map, you have to know where was the map now that I had that showed the uh, sea level. It's over here somewhere. Really? Oh God, come on, where was the map that showed the, 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 maybe it was on the other one? See, cause I'm back and forth with this. No, it's the Mastic New York, okay. And let's see if I zoom in. No, it's close, I'm close. I hope I did not, come on. Well, these are the lines. 
but I, this was used. I used to be able to do it there. Oh, okay. There's more here. Anyway, these are the stone fences. I'm going to build them. You ba basically, you're going to do, you know, like for me, I'm going to basically do, I want, like, say, if your house is right here, right? And this is going to be crazy, but there's nobody that can stop you. Not as a, not as an American National Secure Party creditors, you know, um, uh, seven identities. You could build the wall and then you could say, hey, I'm on the contract. I don't, I can't violate contract. People, anybody can come. They cannot stop you. So, uh, but what you do is you offer everybody twice the amount of their homes. Let's say if your house is here, for example, right? Now, this is complicated. This is tricky. But if you're nice smack dab somewhere, you want to have water. You know, you want to have access to water because you're going to make all your docks. You're going to make beaches. We're going to have sand, like uh, dredgers that are going to basically re-beach everything. So, so. Uh, but you want to be in control of like an isthmus, you know, like a like one area. You want to be in control of this. Ah, this is perfect. Right here. I This is actually perfect, perfect. Not only perfect. Because this right here is a William, a, an estate that, you know, I'm not going to say too much, but I'm taking over that whole place right there. This, look at this. This is not used for nothing. This whole thing right here is going to be where I'm going to do all my festivals. I'm going to redo this. I'm going to build it and uh, this entire thing. So let's just say, over here, you stop right here is easy because I would make a wall right here. All, all, all I would make a wall right here, and I'll have one entrance in the main road. Right. Sometimes you may have to re, uh, add. You have to get a quarry from another area to to basically you know to to, to start quarrying uh, stones, and then you get truckloads and truckloads to build up the area so you so you have a protection. Even the beaches, you want to build them up. Nice, nice. You could do whatever you want. You could make channels. You could close channels. You could build and fill this entire end, this lagoon. But I'm not. Why would you do that? You want to have all your boats here, all your people. And then you make the wall. Then you make an entrance. You pick a road that you want to have that one entrance. And that's it. One, two entrances maximum. And then, uh, and then you know, you offer to buy these uh, property or otherwise you take a hostile takeover. You know, you're not going to do it violently. You're going to basically, uh, you know, they're, they're, these people are putting all um, glyphosate into your tribal lands. This entire thing is my, is my, this entire thing, remember, is my province, right? So now if they're contaminating the soil, you know, you're going to bill them. And how do you bill them? Class action. You get your couple of identities, then you get your tribe. Then you Im imagine you're in a larger tribe. If you have 100, you do a class action lawsuit. This is a piece of cake. It's actually, it's a piece of cake. Uh, you're international royalty, basically. You are uh, the highest law of the land. You are the highest law of the land with your level of consciousness and with your uh, goodwill. Are you going to hurt people? No. You want them, you want them to better themselves. You know, you're going to have people inside here that are going to have cancer. They're going to be all sick. So you heal them if they're open to it. You can, you can bring a horse to water, but you cannot make them drink. So it's their choice now. It's your world. It's you, you're manifesting this into reality. So now, um, you know, are there going to be hurdles and obstacles? Yes. If you if if it just uh, burns you out, then start fresh. Go somewhere, buy a piece of land, start there. But no, my DNA is on here. You know, I can't. My DNA is all over this property. So when the DNA is all over the property, that's it. You cannot move. You got to do this. So and then you do the whole, you know, you, you you build a stone wall, you know, you build a big. My cousins are doing it to somebody that's, you know, very rich in Connecticut. They they, they just keep on building the wall. They've been working on it for two years. It's like, well, you know, and it's only like, you know, four or five guys that are building a wall. Like, could you imagine stone walling is it's like making a pyramid. So anyway, that's that's it. That's what I am. Uh, what am I doing? I am, uh, you know, I'm dreaming big. Right. And I'm manifesting my future rather than predicting or declaring it. But, you know, so that's what it is, you know. And uh, all right. Let's see what else I have. Uh, let me go back here and see if there's anything I missed. And then. All right. So I went through the channels and the trees, the flora and the fauna, the, uh, you know, topography. You have to know your area. You also have to know the highest, highest land. You want to know the highest land because that's where you're going to build, the, you know, like. The, the those those superstructures you know on the highest point of the land but it's okay because you could you could really uh you know you'll have the resources to fill in land with 
my, you know, min, um, basically stones that you can mine from a, from a mountain, or you want to own a mountain, you want to own a mountain so you can quarry, you can quarry stones out of there, clean stones, you're going to basically, you know, chop it up, gravel it up, and then, uh, you know, take off the topsoil first, fill it into the contour you want, you're going to want to have a slope, you're going to, and in the center, you know, you're going to make like a pyramid structure. Can I, can I do annotations here? How do I do that? Apps. Um, loading your apps. Let me see more. Uh, live share sound, hide flowing. Yeah, let me, let me do this for the first time. My apps, I don't have any apps. Discover it. I'm closing that. Come on. Security, participants, chats, polls, new share. What's in, come on, I could have, oh, here it is, advanced. Uh, PowerPoint as virtual background, portion of the screen, computer audio, video, contents from a second camera, basic iPhone, iPad, show all windows, advanced PowerPoint as, let me pause this and let me see if I can show you an annotation. I basically, look at my mouse, forget it, uh, cancel. No, share to share. Okay. I don't want to make sure I'm sharing. All right. So now, basically, let's say you have an area, like a square area, right? Square area. Let me do this here so you can see my mouse better. So you have a square area that you want to develop, right? Like, you're going to want to, this is what I'm doing. Not you're going to want it, but you basically make it like a, a pyramid and find the center, right? And then you could raise up uh, I mean, come on, I don't have a highlighting thing, like a drawing thing. Uh, I'll just use paint. All right, increase, okay. Okay, so that was too much. Undo, delete, undo, home, view, come on, right there. Okay, this is too big. Oh, okay, look at that. So it's gonna be a slight slope, right? <laughs> I'm not too good at this. Okay, I'm just gonna back out of this. You're basically gonna, okay, I can't even do that. I just want to free draw. So, you know, so you got, you know, you're gonna have a little slope. This is where you're gonna have your water tower, you know, where, where your water, that you're gonna have like a well, you got to go down a thousand feet. You know, it's expensive, but you got, you know, over here we can do it. I, I don't know how hard it is to do it into solid stone and stuff, but you got to find, you have to do a search for where your water is and stuff. This is hideous. Um, but so that's that now, now I'm going to show you what the, what it would look like here. This is size. Okay. This is here he is, but so this is your land, right? This point where the water tower is. Is it right here? And then what? And then I mean, this is just what I'm doing. Then you're gonna have rivers going down, right? And and the slope of this is gonna be an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch, because I know I do roofing, and and this is you have positive drainage, quarter of an inch per foot. So every foot, foot, foot. If it's two hundred. And at 200, 100 quarters is going to be 25 foot high. So this point is going to be 25 foot high. I'm going to experiment. I'm going to do one, then do another, then do another. So now over here, it's going to have a river. And then the river is going to go here. Then the river is going to come back. And then it's going to come back in. So, so the rivers, and then over here, it's, this is going to kind of be sloped. And then this is going to go down to a well, it's like to a drainage channel, right? And that drainage channel is only going to go down 300 feet, not 1,000 feet where you're getting the fresh water over here. 
that is going to go down like 300 feet. So it would never make it to the 1,000 feet or the 1,500 feet. And then all this is going to be sloped. So over here, and then the whole thing is going to be enclosed with a glass. All on a slope. And then this is where you have all your cattle. This is where you have everything. You know, this is just um, brainstorming. You know, brainstorming, dreaming. Back to this. You know, it's just basically dream big, manifest your future rather than predict, uh, you know, or, 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 you know, you declare it basically. So that's that, you know, this structure here, uh, the water is going to be coming back here. You're going to have one area, you know, only like your, you know, chickens and stuff. You know, one area only for your uh, cows Then you move it. So you mix the DNA. Then you take the chickens, you put them over here. You know, you're going to have ducks. You're going to have ponds. You know, over here is going to be a pond. Right here where this channel is, you're going to regulate the drainage and you're going to have a pond. Imagine a beautiful pond here. You know, ponds here, right? But but also you're going to have a river here that the river is going to be a low slope because you want it to go slow. You want it to go slow and, and deep. Your ducks are going to be in it. You're going to have salmon. You're going to be able to eat salmon uh, eggs. You know, um, amazing, amazing. I'm, I, I, they ran out. I haven't had uh, caviar for so long. You're going to have others. You can have sturgeon eggs. You can have whatever. This is going to be abundant, abundant fishing. Well, why don't you wait till the fish just jump out? Because they're going to they're gonna be so happy in here. You're going to be all enclosed, all super organic, heirloom fish. Uh, you know, you can do salt. You could do this right along the beach. So you can you can do two of them could be salt water. You have pumps. So you're going to have two salt water rivers to mix up over here and mix, you know, and, and, you know, when you're on a beach, right, just consider this, you're in balance with nature. If this is water, right? This is where you get the, this is where if you put one foot on land, one foot on the water, right? You are going to be in balance with the foot, with the five elements, because you're going to have earth, water, air, fire, you know, for the fire of the mind, and then ether, you know, which is your divine inspiration. This is how you become a true shaman. You know, when, uh, you know, the, the, this is it. This is uh, when you when you become balanced. That's why I do recommend that salt water. Plus, once you do this and you take dominion over your geographical area, you start getting divine inspiration. You st this is how pyramids are built, real pyramids. The people are going to be so tapped in. You're going to be eat you're going to be so uh, vigorous. You know, your, uh, your, your uh, libido, you know, and anyway, that's, that's me. This is my dreams and I'm manifesting them into reality. So anyway, I thought I'd share that. Let me go back now and I'm going to end this soon. I would have loved to find that map, but it's gone. So you want to know the topography, you know, I, I can't find it. I'm not looking for it because it just takes too long. Let's just see what happens with this. Let me put here Bald Hill. No, you know, let me just put in, let me just see what happens if I do Mastic New York. Okay. So, because you have to put an address for the topography to work sometimes. Layers, transit, traffic, biking, college street. You used to be able to, to do, you used to be able to see it right here, but it's not working. I, I, or I'm just not figuring out. I used to do it all the time and it's not working and I can't seem to find that address, uh, that map anymore. So I'm just gonna continue through these. Okay. We went over the stone walls. Look at these stone walls, look at these castles. Look at these, look at that the height of that stone wall of this castle architecture, but chateau. Uh, they're doing it, you see? And they're more elite than us. I don't care if they're, I don't care if you're a Duke. And that's about it. What's this? How many claim to have, I already went over that. We went over that. I went over how it starts in, in, in the Pacific. You know, the new day gets reset right here. And then you can follow through and find out what the collective consciousness is. And if it's going to be a good a trading day, or if it's going to be positive energies or also negative energies, 
you know, I went through that earlier in the video, God complex, pygmy horses, the pygmy horses now. So, you know, three to perfect because you're going to want your, your, you know, your children, your offsprings, your princes and princesses, they need to be um, horsemen and horsemen and women at an early age. You want them to be on horses, bulls too, you know. I dream of a day that you know that you don't have to be like the cowboy movies when you when you're when you're riding a bull, um, and and it tries to throw you off. Imagine you had a, a relationship with your bull from 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 cattle from a, oh, from when it was a calf, you know, and then you could maybe ride a bull. Yeah, imagine going into you know I'm not even going to say battle, but you know you know where this is going. You know where this is going. You know I'll say you know uh, liberation or you know enlightenment. When you're going into into you know the fiery crucible, yeah, it's all around us. I mean, you know, it's in the astrology; it's everywhere. You know, we'll be all right, yes, but you know, will everybody around us be? All right, let's see what that other page had. So, you know, Southwest mushrooms. I went through the channelers over here. You know, just let, let them be a stepping stone, you know, a stepping stone to your higher to achieve your higher self. I wish I would have been able to find a video where he, he starts saying that you're you wake up every day with a complete new set of actors, complete new set of uh, new reality based on what you manifested the day before. That's all I'm getting into that. The elevation. Maybe it was over here. Yes. Let's see here. OK, this is it. Elevation, when you get in closer, come on, there it is. So you got it here, Suffolk County, New York map, you just have to search. So, so you see, this is it. So you basically, and it's pretty fast, so I can do this. So basically let's go over here and see this topographical map. It takes a little while to populate. No data. No data. I don't know. It is because it's nothing. This is like pretty much swamplands. Mm -hmm. Look, zero. If that's a zero or that's a stone, I'm not sure. 10, 10. It starts off at 10. I'm, I'm not sure if these are zeros or not. Three. Yep. That looks, no, it's not. <laughs> so, you know, know your terrain. You know, if this is 10 foot, wow, that's pretty high, 10 foot. So if this is 10 foot, you know, this has got to be kind of five and this has got to be zero because this is water. So I did find it finally. I had it on the other page. So let me start over here again. We went over the mushrooms, went over the elevation, digital atlas of Idaho. I was just, you know, Googling around. Uh, you also want to know like the, uh, you know, I already went over, how you want to you want to buy up all the houses around these natural reserves so this way once you have a tribe imagine imagine you wake up and you walk down this road and everybody you know lives there you know everybody of your tribe and you love them and they love you and they salute you and they say you know good morning they sing they'll sing a good morning song to you you know uh, that's why i love south america you know like i my you know i have a a, a, a wife down there and you know <laughs> She don't have to have money. She sing. She sang me a song. She sang me a song calling my. You know, uh, 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 that song is precious. It's priceless. Calling me, you know, calling me me daddy. You know, me daddy. You know, I'm her. I'm her daddy. And I, you know, me daddy is Superman. You know, she called me Superman. She said because that's what she feels that I am. She's like, I cannot believe. What I, I asked her one day, I asked her, you know, what am I, what am I to you after we, you know, we started getting real serious. I said, you know, if you have to say like, what am I to you, you know, without asking her before or anything, she says, what, what are you to me? You, you know, she, she started to, she's like, you, you're, you're, you're my, you're, you're my Superman. And I love it. I love it. Singing, writing, writing and singing songs to me. She's a singer, you know, we're going to develop all that, you know, that was, I couldn't buy that with a trillion, quadrillion dollars, what she did to me, because money doesn't even exist. That is more precious to me. You know, imagine having a daughter and she sings a song to, you know, to her daddy, you know, to her daddy. 
And, you know, this is where I want to be. I dream big. I'm a big dreamer. I'm a Sagittarius with Jupiter conjunct Neptune in Sagittarius and then Venus, Mercury right nearby. Venus, Mercury right near and the sun. I have sun conjunct Jupiter conjunct um, Neptune in Sagittarius, which Jupiter is the ruler of Sagittarius, all within three degrees. So, you know, if I was, if I, if, if it was today, if, if, if today was the day of my, of my birth with that energy, it would be the most amazing, amazing day. So I know what my mother went through just by knowing the astrology. Uh, I don't think I've come across Jupiter, Sun, Neptune conjunct or I wasn't aware, or I was ignorant of it at the time, but definitely not after I've been awoke, but maybe I'll check, because there were some days that might have, you know, compared to that, I know what that energy is, it's a beautiful, beautiful energy, and it's almost like the energy we are now, because Jupiter is going to be conjunct uh, Neptune soon, but in Pisces, which is, a, a, that's why I'm, you know, I'm so, I'm so lit right now, I'm basically, you know, uh, the next eight years, my astrology all lines up. So it's uh, or maybe not eight, but like up until 2018, that's seven. Yeah, my astrology lines up starting starting like in 2023, but it's still good now. This is the dawning of 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 my of an age, uh, not an age, but a cycle where I, you know, become king for a day. All right. So remember, we went through the buildings, not just a phallus, but a phallus and a womb. You know, the ones and O's, X's and O's. Yeah, let me, let me see. Uh, zeros and ones. <laughs> That's code, zeros and ones. Images. What, there's a movie with Ben Affleck? You know, zeros and ones. You know, the males and the females. The, the phallus and the womb. The phallus and the whole. The uh, cane and uh, Abel, I don't know, cane and Abel, maybe, but you know, the, the cane, uh, the pole in the hole, you know, the pole in the hole. And then, you know, the pole with pole dancers, you know, it's all the pole is the male. That's why they're all rubbing all over. It. And then the female is doing all, all Y's and X's and, you know, and scissors and everything with that pole. So this is all symbolic, some, 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 uh, symbolical. Wait. It's it's all symbology, you know. Um, what what is evident and apparent in our world? It all comes full circle. The male and the female, zeros and ones. So what was that? Was that a movie? With it was that Ben Affleck? Looks like Ben Affleck. Twenty twenty one. All right, written and directed by that. It stars Ethan. Oh, it's Ethan Hawke. Yeah, he's bad. He is. He is awesome. He played in, um, I forget the name of that movie, but he definitely played in Train, was that him? Training Day? Yeah, he played in Training Day. Oh, he was fucking great. He was, he was great in Training Day. Yeah, with, with Denzel Washington, like, <laughs> Denzel Washington with them shiny crowns on his teeth, and he got those done when he went in. Hollywood always changed these people's teeth. Uh, all right, so let's see. That's it. The Pentagon, Toronto. All right, I'm going to end this. So it's uh, it's 921. I've been on for a while. Let me see. I have to stop share. And now we're in 37 minutes. But yeah, you know, if uh, if you have time to watch through this whole thing, you know, the people that are serious are because, you know, I'm this may be causing me to slow down me getting my paperwork done, but I'm, I'm enjoying this and I'm having I'm having fun with it. It's a it's a process of growth and evolution so you know I'm, I'm forced to go into survival mode because obviously i couldn't get much of anything done this week you know i i can't even get my uh i can't even get the subscription to google um workspace because they wouldn't accept the prepaid card it has to have a bank account so i have to put money into my brokerage account because I couldn't do that before, but now I can for some reason, because they would lean up every bank account I open up in either a business or a personal. But now I believe because I did the UCC one um, and it's been uh, over seven years, now I think for some old taxes, they can't come after me. So that's that. So what was I saying? Uh, so yeah, I'll have that up and running. That's gonna be crucial. Uh, oh, I'm not even sharing. 
so and that's it so let me think any any updates over here no i really haven't done i've been now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go through all the emails and send out all the invitations so it's 9 23 a.m but um i'm gonna I, I i'm not posting this right away because i would rather an hd version it takes about an hour and a half for an hd version to come um you know to be uh processed in youtube so what i'll do is i'll uh you know i'll either premiere it at 11 or i'll premiere it right before you know the meeting so it's you know i'll premiere it like three or four that's exactly what I'm going to do. If it's an hour and 37 minutes, so this way, if whoever is on the topic of this channel, you know, if they're going to meet at six, if I do this one at four, and then if I make any other video, I'll do that at three, because that's going to be shorter. And that's it. Let me get on with my day. I'm going to send out all the invitations. And, uh, you know, I hope you enjoyed this little chant. Uh, I should say uh, rant. <laughs> I said chant. It was kind of like a chant. So a Sunday rising uh, gratitude rant, uh, channeling the collective consciousness. I dream. I'm dreaming big. You can see obviously because many of you are going to think I'm crazy and are you know be you know uh, half. I should say glass half empty, but I'm glass half full. So um, I hope I got that right. You know, dream big, manifest your future rather than predicted and that's it this is my my predictive programming for you guys all right so i'm, I'm predictive pro just like they're predictive programming us i'm predicting pro you know I, I'm, I'm telling you what i'm i'm doing you're like wow this guy is absolutely crazy <laughs> he's out of his he's out of his mind all right all right so that's it guys and i'll just uh, bid you adieu and i will see everybody at the meeting tonight. Uh, and I'm gonna premiere this around four o'clock. So I hope you enjoyed it. And we covered a good amount of topics. I am gonna stop share. So balance and respect to all. Uh, stop recording. Thanks for joining me.